Uh, hello. Hi, how are you? <clears throat> uh, uh, I'm great, thank you, and you? I'm good, thanks. Nice to see you. Um, I'm, I'm into. So today we're going to do some pronunciation. Um, we will be reading a news article, and I'll be correcting you on your pronunciation. Um, and that's pretty much what we're doing today. You'll have some vocabulary work for homework. Um, and please excuse my voice. <coughs> I have a sore throat, but <laughs> I'm hopefully I'll still be able to help you <laughs> with your pronunciation. Um, hi to everyone who's watching. The document is attached to the class, and I'll share the link too. Here's the link in here. So, um, hi Trang, nice to see you. Nice to see you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Well, ready for some more pronunciation? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. And hi, Sam Ming. Hello. Glad to see you. You too. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Thank you. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, and hi, Sergey. Hi, Samantha. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? It looks very sunny there. Is it like... Uh, no. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, it's my screen. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was say it looks so bright, but uh, wishful thinking, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, hi, Ruben. Hello. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Spain, uh, oh. Valencia. Oh, great. Um, you're from... A lot of the Spanish teachers on Verbling are from Valencia. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, and is that your child in the picture? Yeah, this is my my little toddler. It has two years old. Um, I will, I, we went to the zoo in this photo. Ah. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, Aust uh, Lucas. <laughs> Lucas. Oh, cute. <laughs> um, you're at the zoo? See, uh, yes. <laughs> we were at the zoo in Valencia. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Great. Uh, okay, and hi Jorge, welcome back. Hi Samantha, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you too. <laughs> um, <laughs> did you do any homework today, last night? <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I had to rest my brain. I bet. <laughs> you guys have been doing a lot. Did you see today is like a practice class? So <laughs> you'll get some practice if you join us. Um, yes, but I am I'm booked the next class. Cool, that's good. Um, and who's here? Jean Bernard. Hello. Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you. How have you been? Oh, it's muted. Oh. Can you hear me? Oh, there you are. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, how have you been? I haven't seen you ah, in a little while. I, I come from France. Yeah. I remember I met you, I think, one, one maybe twice. I'm not sure. Um, uh, yes, I think uh, it's the first time. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah. First time, <laughs> I think. Cool. Twice. Nice to see you. How is the weather oh, in France? Oh, the, the weather is uh, sunny and warm. Oh, boo! <laughs> ah, wonderful. Yeah, I'm jealous. It's um, I'm jealous. <laughs> oh, no, no, no jealous. No. It's not so sunny here. <laughs> <laughs> kind of rainy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, and hi, Eduardo. Nice to see you. Hello, Sam. Hello. Um, so I was saying at the beginning of class, um, I'm just a apologize for my voice. Uh, my throat is is really sore, but um, I'll s hopefully I can still help you with your pronunciation. <laughs> it should be okay. Um, so I'm just going down to our article. Um, I gave you the link if you want to follow along, uh, but I'll keep it on my screen as well. 
And most of you have done this before, um, but we'll just take turns reading paragraphs. And after your paragraph, I'll give you some feedback on your pronunciation and some suggestions on how to improve. So here's our article. Um, is he in the chat? Tarek. Oh, hi. <laughs> Tarek, I didn't even see you. You, like, snuck in between. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing very well. What about you? <laughs> You're like, no, you forgot about me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, nice to see you as well. Thank you. Um, okay. So, how about, um, Eduardo, would you like to start us off? You can read from okay. the title down to the end of number one. <coughs> okay. Flappy Bird. The Labradoodle and other inventions the creators regret. The designer of the mobile game Flappy Bird pulled it from app stores because its success had ruined his simple life. He's not the first to an invention of his own making. I mean, Sana, <laughs> from yeah. the yeah. Be careful what you wish for, especially if you want to invent something new. Recently, Don Nguyen, the designer of the mobile game Flappy Bird, pulled it from App Store, saying its success, it had been downloaded, down, downloaded more than 50 million times and was making him around 30,000 pounds in advertising revenue each day. Had win his simple life. He took to his Twitter account to say, I cannot take this anymore. Okay, so regretting making Flappy Bear isn't quite the same as regretting making a rifle, but New Yen is just the la latest in a long line of inventors who wish they hadn't created a monster. Good. Okay. So, um, first of all, does everyone know about Flappy Bird? Yeah. Yeah, it's a yeah, game. That, you've heard about it, that game. Did you hear about this, how he pulled it from the stores? It's discontinued, and everyone's like, I don't know went into a big panic about it. Um, I have it on my phone, and I can't get past, like, level 15. I'm so bad. <laughs> like, I'm really bad. Um, okay. So, Eduardo, can you read the first word I put here for you? Wish. Yes, just watch your short I. Okay. Wish. 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 Okay. Yeah, good. Um, and you did that handful of times throughout the reading. Um, you're still doing a lot of that E sound instead of the I, so um, that's something that you can keep working on, trying to get it trying to get it just the short I wish. Okay, yeah. Uh, I make it a little bit longer. Yeah. It takes a bit of practice. Um, yeah, but it wish there was, what else? Million. I think you said million. Million? So yeah, million, you just million. have to Mm -hmm. Watch those eyes. It's a little tricky for you, I know. Um, okay, uh, how about the next word? Uh, the designer. That was perfect. Do you know the problem? Yeah. The you like emphasized <laughs> it for me. Yeah, that was perfect. So it's a Z sound. That was very good. Um, yeah, when I when I do only just one word, it's more easy than in a sentence. Yeah, yeah. of course. That's normal. Um, okay. Uh, how about the next one? Advertising. Good. Um, yeah, it was. It wasn't actually the Z in this one. <laughs> actually, okay. it was um, to emphasize the first syllable. Advertising. Advertising. Okay. okay. Advertising. Yeah. Good. Um, that's the case in a lot of long words like this, where the first syllable is emphasized. Um, did, have I sent you the the word stress document before the word stress rules? I'm not sure. No. Uh, let me get it for you. It's a more advanced thing. Here's a link. Um, this is something that you can take a look at. It talks about once you have words with 
um, three or four syllables. There are some rules about when which syllable to emphasize. It depends on how the word ends usually, um, whether it's a noun, an adjective, or a verb. So there are just some rules that you could read through. They might help you with reading those longer words. Yeah, I read something about it a long time ago, but I don't remember. Yeah, maybe I could I maybe I'll do a class on that. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's hard to re remember. It's just something more more so to practice really than memorize. So, yeah. um, okay. How about the next one? Duk. So there's a very specific vowel sound here. Um, it's the same vowel in the word foot, would, could, should. Um, put, took. So when I read these words, can you hear this sound? Foot, would, could, should, put, took. Can you try them? Yes. Foot, would, could, should, put, took. Good. So yours is almost there, but you're doing more of an ooh, and ooh. it should be more of an uh. Like, uh. um... I, I always explain it like someone punches you in the gut <laughs> and uh. you go, uh, uh. <laughs> That's the sound. Uh. It's this okay. like, uh, sound and it's coming from your gut kind of. It's There's no like, ooh, to it. So it's instead of foot, it's foot. Instead foot. of took, it's tuck. Tuck. Yeah, that was perfect. Okay. Can you try, try all of them again? Foot, wood. Foot, wood. Could, should, put, took. Yeah, that was much, much better. Okay, so okay. Um, this is one of the trickier vowel sounds in English, but it's another good one to practice, this O uh sound. Um, okay. Oh, there's just one more at the end. Okay. I'm <coughs> writing down. Yeah. Uh, monster, monster, like mother, is an this a? Ma, ma, ma. Monster. monster. Monster, like that. Okay. Monster. Okay. Another case of O sound. You were here yesterday, right, for this class, I think? Yes, yes, yeah. and it's the, it's the same. Yeah, the, it's the, the I, the, in this case, the, the first A, I suppose, yeah, is different. Monster, yeah. Yeah, monster. It's um another case of where the O, it sounds like an A sound, like in the words um, doll. Yeah, we we, uh, we saw yesterday about last bus. Yeah, a lot of yeah, different exactly, words with this exactly. Loss. Yeah, it's this uh, monster is the same one. Um, so this O sounds like ah. It's a class I sh I think I should maybe plan for next week. Um, a lot of people are having trouble with that, so um, maybe we'll do a class on it. Um, okay. so same thing as yesterday. Really, it's almost entirely vowels. Really, um. Mm -hmm. But this one's a new one that you can work on. The short I is pretty standard for most languages. It's a bit of a struggle. Um, the took, that sounds a little more advanced. So, okay. yeah, good job. Uh, any questions for me? No. Okay. That was cool. great. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Um, okay, Jean Bernard, it's your turn. Um, okay. Can you read number two, the Labradoodle? <laughs> <laughs> the Labradoodle. The Labradoodle isn't a monster. It's adorable, obviously. But what's monster is the way crossbreed dogs have been bred and marketed since the Labradoodle's inventor. Wally Condron first created the breed in the 1980 century. Breed. The breed. Yeah, keep reading, sorry. Just keep going. We'll look right. at it after. I've done a lot of damage. He told the Associated Press. I've created a lot of problems. There are a lot of unhealthy and abandoned dogs out there. Condron came up with a Labrador when he was working for the Royal Guide Dog Association of Australia to provide a dog for a blind woman whose husband was allergic to dog hair. What he didn't expect was that the Labrador 
and its over paddle cross variants, many of which have health problems, would become so popular. Great. Okay. Just one second. I just one sec. Okay. Um, okay. Good. Uh, can you read the first word for me? Mm, adorable. Adorable. So. Adorable. Adorable. Yeah. Adorable. I think the biggest problem that you're still having is those R sounds, which is really tricky from French. Um, mm -hmm. Even when they're in the middle or at the beginning of a word, you're still you're kind of caught between the French R and the English R. You're not exactly making the French R sound, but it's like halfway there. <laughs> so um, you have to really push out this like er sound. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, think of uh, it as er. It's more at the bottom of your throat than the top. I don't know mm -hmm. if that makes sense, but um, er er. It's it's coming more from your chest than okay. than from the back of your throat. Um, and just think like uh, you're angry. Er. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, that sounded better. So it's something to to keep working on. Um, and it came out in adorable, adorable. Adorable. Yeah, that was great. That was really good. Adorable. Okay. Um, the next word is actually the. 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 So you're doing kind of like a the, the, the sort of, this like the sound. The. So it should be like there's an a uh, vowel at the end. The, the breed. The breed. Yeah, that the sounds breed. much better. The breed. The. Um, breed, I think, was just your R. Can you repeat breed for me? Breed. 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 Good. That was better. Breed. Mm -hmm. Breed. Um, can you try the next part? A lot. A lot of damage. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Yeah. It looks like a lot, but it's it's this ah uh, ah uh, sound. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. A lot of damage. Perfect. A lot of good. Um, okay, and the next one. Um, the royal. royal. Push out that R. Royal. Royal. <laughs> royal. 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 Good. Very good. Royal. Um, okay. And the next word? Um, blind woman. Yeah, it's actually pronounced like a long I. Blind. Blind. Blind, blind woman. Blind it's, woman. It's sort of an exception. It looks like blind or ble something. Um, but we pronounce it blind, so she blind. can't. She can't blind see. woman. Mm -hmm. Um, and then one more word at the end. My popular. Popular. Yes. With this word, um, it's the same as lot. The O is making an A ah sound. Pa, popular. Ah, popular. 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 Very good. Good. Um, okay. So mostly your R's to keep working on. Um, and then a few little vowel things here and there. Vowel sounds. Um, besides that, it's really great. Very good job. Mm -hmm. um, Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Number three, Jorge. The AK-47. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Does everyone know what a labradoodle is? A labradoodle? <laughs> no? <laughs> no? It's, it's a dog. It's, it's a labrador crossed with a poodle. Yes, it's like... Uh, yes, we know. <laughs> I think they're cute, <laughs> but... Um, some people think they're, you know, a little strange. Um, I guess they can they can be a little bit unhealthy because there's so many dogs are abandoned, etc. Um, but we do this with dogs when we cross them. We just like join their names together. <laughs> um, for example, there's a puggle. My brother has a puggle. It's a pug crossed with a bugle, and they call it a puggle. <laughs> Oh, oh, yes. It's, I don't know uh, if you've heard of them. They're really cute, too. <laughs> it also can be confused with uh, 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 laboratory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. 
yeah. the place when uh, scientists uh, scientists make something. Yeah, laboratory lab lab. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um, maybe the labradoodle was was created in the laboratory. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, um, okay, Jorge, go ahead. Uh, number three, AK-47. Okay. Six months before his death in December 2013, Mikhail Kalashnikov, the designer of the assault rifle, wrote to the head of the Russian Orthodox Church, my spiritual torment is unbearable. One and the same question if coming. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no, no problem. Uh, oh. Where, where am I? Mean? Um, my rifle killed people. Kill, my rifle killed people. Does that mean that I'm I Mikhail, Mikhail Kalashnikov, 90, 90, 30 years of age, the son of a peasant Christian and Orthodox by faith? I'm responsible for people's death, even if they were enemies. Good. 93. 93. 93. Yeah, good. Okay, let's take a look back down here. Uh, you did a very good job of pronouncing his name, I think. Does anyone speak Russian? Victor, how, <laughs> how do you pronounce his name? And Sergey? Mikhail Kalashnikov. Mikhail Kalashnikov. He was pretty close, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, In English is Mi Mikhail. <laughs> Mikhail? Like or that? Michael. Michael. I, I would say Michael Kalashnikov. How's that? Michael <laughs> <I'm kidding>. Kalashnikov. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Jorge, can you read the first word for me? Yes. Riffle. Um, so, because there's an E at the end, it's actually a long I. Rifle. Rifle. R rifle. Yep, exactly. Rifle. Um, how about the next word? <coughs> Wrote. Okay, that was fine. I don't know what the problem was, <laughs> so don't worry about that. Um, and the next two words together? Orthodox Church. Orthodox. 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 Good. You have like three different O sounds in this word, so it's a little tricky. Orthodox. Like this. So... The O in the middle is making an A sound. R and o at, Yeah, is making an A sound. Orthodox. 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 Good. Um, and then church. Church. So your U. You're doing like church, kind of like an R sound in the middle, but it should be more of an er. Church, church. Church. Good. So you ha you're left with Orthodox Church. Orthodox Church. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Orthodox Church. Yeah, that was perfect. Much better. Yeah, I was just saying there's a delay, so sometimes it's a little awkward, so everyone knows. <laughs> we understand that we have, like, a very slight delay. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. It's an expectation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, Jorge, how about the next word? Kilt. Okay, that was perfect. So it was just that ED... I wanted to see if you could um, remember which ED to use here. And it's the D, right? Killed. Killed. Very good. Um, and the next word? Peasant. So it's actually pronounced peasant. Peasant. 
hasn't. Yeah, it's kind of an exception in pronunciation. It really looks like p sent, but it's pronounced pe, and then the s sounds like a z. Peasant. 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 Good. That was much better. So that Z really needs to come out. The son of a peasant. Um, okay, and the last two words together? People's death. Deaths. Try to get the THS. Deaths. Deaths. Good. That was much better. Um, I think I, I'm not sure if I told you this rule before. Um, but with this THS sound, when I'm typing this, when you're saying it quickly, the TH almost disappears. So this is kind of like a way to make it easier for you to pronounce. So instead of saying deaths, which is a little tricky, you can pretty much say people's deaths. And you're, you're mostly just saying the S. Okay? Try that. Try saying it, but don't... Okay. Point out the if, if, if. Okay, people deaf. So you want to say the S, not so much the TH. Deaths. 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 People, people's deaths. <laughs> it's no easy for me. <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah, this THS sound is very tricky. But if you're reading quickly, you can kind of drop the TH and just say the S. It makes it a little bit easier. Uh, sorry, just one second. Uh, can you repeat, uh, please, first? Sorry. Um, just had some noise. I had to... Care. Um, so, for example, in the sentence, I would say Christian and Orthodox by faith and responsible for people's deaths even if they were enemies. So you can hear that I, I'm not really pronouncing that TH so much. I pronounce the S more. And it's a way of making it easier <laughs> to pronounce. And we do it naturally. Okay, people's deaths. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Um, good. So, I guess the same as before, just some little vowel things um, and some words that you've probably never pronounced, like orthodox, that sort of thing. Um, but it was good. Do you have any questions for me, Jorge? No, some. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, okay. And Ruben, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, Number four, electronic tagging. Do you hear me? Yep. Okay. Uh, electronic tagging. The electronic tag was originally conceived in the 1960s as a way of tracking former prisoners' attendance at the schools and workplaces and rewarding them for good behavior. Its inventors, Bob Gable and his brother Kirkland, were later horrified that the tag had become a form of control and punishment. It's not pleasant, Kirkland gave, gave told the Guardian in 2010. But I'm not control but I'm not in control of the universe. I have to realize there are some things out of my control. Good. Okay. Um, okay, can you read the first word for me? Uh, prisoners. That was much better. Um, it's just a, a matter of that short I. So not saying prisoners, prisoners, mm -hmm. and instead saying pri prisoners, prisoners. Pri prisoners. Good. Very good. Okay. Um, can you try the next two words together? Uh, later, later horrified. Yeah, that was better. So you want to really pronounce your H. Later horrified. Later uh, hor. So you have to get pronounce. right from this mm -hmm. R to the H sound. Okay. Later horrified. Okay. Yeah, that was perfect. Um, okay, and the next one. Punishment. No. 
Yeah, um, the, the U sound is an uh, punishment. 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 Uh, yeah, uh, it looks like pu pu punish. I can't say it. <laughs> it looks like an oos kind of, um, but it's an uh, punish. Punishment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the next one? Uh, pleasant? Um, actually, this is the same sound as in the word peasant, except you add an L. <laughs> so no, now no. it's pleasant. Pleasant. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Um, the next one? Uh, the guardian? No. Yeah, that was perfect. So I think you pronounced it like gua guardian. Yeah, yeah. I suppose. <laughs> yeah. The U is actually silent when it's beside a G like this. Um, mm -hmm. It's usually silent, guardian, which is strange, but, you know. <laughs> um, and the next one? In control? Yeah, exactly. So um, you were saying control. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it's just putting now. emphasizing the second syllable, control. Good. Um, and the last one? Realize. Real, realize. Realize. Yeah, it's actually two syllables, not three. It's not realize. It's real eyes. Realize. 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 Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Very good. Oh, so Thank you actually, very much. <laughs> yeah, it seems like one of your things is um, the word stress as well, which I I sent that link before, um, mm -hmm. but here it is again. Just I, I think off. maybe you you know the rules because you knew them when you were repeating the words. <laughs> so um, <laughs> just something to review. Um, and then I just some vowel sounds like in punish, pleasant. So overall, it's it's very good. Um, do you have any questions for me? No, it's it's okay. Thank you. Okay, good. Um, okay, Sergey, you're next. Okay. Pepper spray. Pepper spray. After police sprayed peaceful protesters with pepper spray at the University of California campus in 2011. One of the scientists who helped develop it in the agents denounced its use. I have never seen such an inappropriate and an improper use of chemical agents, Cameron Rogman told to the New York Times. Good. You had some tricky words in here. It's short, but there's some tricky words. So, um, Can you read the first one for me? Yeah. Police. Police. Instead of police? Um, yeah. It's pu police, pu police, like this, police. 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 Good, yeah, don't emphasize that O so much. Police, police. Police, police. Um, okay. The next one, but I think it will be fine by itself, so can you maybe just read this again, like the first couple of words? Okay. After police spread peaceful protesters with purpose spray. Okay, good. Um, so you're doing kind of a we, a little yeah. bit. It should be with, with. Yeah, I know. <laughs> with, and just be careful about your W as well. Um, you're having some W V problems, which is is normal with um Russian, but um, you just want to make sure you get the w <laughs> with, with, yeah, with pepper, see, yes. right? Um, okay, good. Uh, how about the next word? Develop. Again? Develop. Okay, that was fine. I think it was your V maybe, but it sounds perfect now. Um, how about the next word? Denounce it. Just watch your ED at the end. It shouldn't denounced. be denounced. It should be denounced. Denounced. Yeah, it's... um. um mm -mm, what's the word? An unvoiced consonant. The S. So... It ends with that T sound. If you, I don't know if you've taken a class on the ED endings, but um, have you have you studied that before ED endings? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. So it's just a T denounced. Um, okay. How about the next one? Inappropriate. Uh, good. Except at the very end, it looks like eight, but it's it's pronounced just like the word it. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Good. Um, and one more. Improper. And in this case, O sounds like A. Uh, improper. 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 Okay. Good. 
Um, same deal, a lot of mostly vowels again, um, and just sort of little things. Hold on, I'm trying to. There we go. <laughs> like um, with, there's just a little short I problem, a couple vowel problems, but nothing, nothing serious. Overall, it's good as always. Thank you. <laughs> um, any questions for me? No. No. no? Okay. Um, okay. Summing. Summing. Yes. It's your turn. You get the office cubicle. Mm, the office cubicle in the late 60th century, a new form of office was was launched and designed to give workers uh, privacy and increase uh, for productivity by providing more work space instead it uh, became a way for companies to cram employees into um, tighter space uh, with a short hand for uniformity and so less work. Is in render box published set in nineteen ninety seven the cubic cubic listings of people in modern corporations in monolithic insanity. Good. Okay, um, so the first one here, when you have um, a number with an S after it, mm. it's not century, it's actually just the 60s. Oh. Um, if there's a C after it, then it would be the 60th century, which is oh. not happening anytime soon. <laughs> but um, with 60S, same with like 70s, 90s. Um, sometimes you're tricked because people sometimes write it like this with an apostrophe, but that's actually incorrect. We don't use an apostrophe to show a year. So this is the correct way to write it, the 60s. Okay? That's mean 60 years. Like 1960s. Oh, 1960. 1960 to 69. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, can you read the? Try to read this word for me again. Uh, productivity. That was good. Productivity. Yeah. Is it? Productivity. Yeah. Productivity. Good. Um. So it almost it sounds like a D actually at the end. Productivity. 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 Good. Um. And this is the rule because the T is in between two vowels. The, the Y acts like a vowel sometimes. In this case, it's acting like a vowel. So you have vowel, T, vowel. Whenever this is the case, the T sounds like a D. So we have pro, productivity, like this, productivity. Um, okay. Oh. Okay, good summing. Uh, can you try the next one? Work. Good. Now, really, um, your R, you're sort of doing like work. It's sort of air sound, and it should be an er sound. Work. 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 Good. That's better. Um, okay, and the next word? For. And I want you to really push out your R. For. Er. Er. For. For. Think of it like this, four, but quickly, four. Four. Good, that was much better. So we just want to hear that R a little bit more, okay? Um, and how about the next word? Space. And because you have an ES at the end, no. pronounced spaces. 
Oh, spaces. Spaces. Um, let me find you. One second. I'm just going to get you a link. Yes. yes. Um, da -da -da -da. Here's a link about pronouncing those S endings. When is it a S and when is it is? So if you, you can read through that. I think there's an audio clip for it as well. Um, okay. How about the last one? I don't expect you to know this word. <laughs> it's a little strange. Back. Cubicalizing. Cubicalizing. Okay, yeah. so does anyone know what that means? Cub to cubicalize? Cubicalizing. Putting in cub cubicles. <laughs> people for work. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like putting people in cubicles. Yes. <laughs> they turned it into a verb. <laughs> um, I don't think it's really a word, actually. Let me check. Cubicalize. No, they've they've created this word. It's not a real word. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, they mean like putting people in cubicles. Um, does anyone know what this means? Monolithic insanity. <clears throat> impure. Impure. The word monolithic. It's not uh, monolithic. Mono, mo, monolithic. Um, it means solid. Uh, 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 it, sorry, can I say? Uh, Victor, sure, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, it means uh, one solid. Not uh, you can't separate anything from the solid. Yeah, um, exactly. It also can mean mm. very um, powerful and unchanging. Like it's it's this overriding power, and it's yeah. solid. It will not change. Yeah. Um, so it's also related to power. Um, and we know insanity, right? So they're saying that putting people in cubicles is just an insane use of power, basically. Uh, just one second. Okay, so I have to keep blowing my nose. <laughs> I don't want to blow my nose like at you guys <laughs> so you can hear me. Um, okay, great job, Summing. Uh, you had some tricky words. So. I think we're actually out of article, so just give me one second. I'm gonna. I didn't realize how short that one was. I'm just gonna open another article for Trek Trang and Victor. So, let's see. On the same topic, maybe something about weird inventions. Let's f see what I can find. Hmm. Okay, found one. Oh, no, those that's inappropriate. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, found one. So, just going to send you the link here. And so still about inventions, says 13 hilarious inventions we can't believe exist and are real businesses. So I'm just going to make this a little bigger. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. And there's a baby. <laughs> it's an advertisement. <laughs> um, how do you pronounce article? Article. Mm, business Ar cult like this Jorge article 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 yeah. you're welcome um, okay so Tarek you're first um, just go ahead and, and read a few paragraphs I'll stop you okay okay some invention address need sorry Tarek can you turn up your microphone a little it's very quiet uh, is it clear? Hold on, I can adjust it too. Okay, okay try, try now. Some inventions? Yes, it's okay. Some inventions address needs that everyone has had a uh, has and go on to change the world. Then the internet service, uh, our constant craving for information, 
the internal com uh, com composition engine let uh, anyone efficiently do mechanical work with little phys physical effort and uh, antibiotics uh, sorry sorry uh, I just moved it antibiotics uh, significantly uh, antibiotics significantly reduced reduced more mortality rates around the world. Good. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Perfect. We've got some big words in this article too, which is good. <laughs> okay. Um, I just typed some words for you in the chat box. Do you see them, Jarek? Yes. Okay, can you read the first one for me? Warlid. So you're saying warlid, kind of? Um, it's just one syllable, and it's world. So it has like an er sound in the middle. Middle. World. World. Good, that was better. So ignore the O and try to just make this er sound. Were world. Okay. Um, okay, the next one. Composition? 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 Combustion. 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 Yeah, and you emphasize the middle. Combustion. 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 Good. Um, do you know what that means? Combustion? I think I... Uh, I think it's like... Uh, like uh, able to bore, uh, uh, burn? Yeah, burning, basically. Burning, burning. burning. Yeah. Burning. Um, okay, and the next word? The next one... Um, uh, uh, Engine. Yeah, it looks like engine, but it's pronounced engine. It's actually a engine. short, a short yeah. I engine. Engine. Good. The next one. Antibiotics. 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 Good. Antibiotics. So again, there's this rule where that second T it's surrounded by vowels, so it's pronounced like a D. Antibiotics. <laughs> Like that, antibiotics. Antibiotics. Okay. Yeah. And the last the one. one. Signs. Significantly. 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 Perfect. Significantly. And it, do you know that word, significant? Like, um, very much, greatly, a lot, sort of. Significantly reduced mortality rates. Uh, what are mortality rates? More, what? Mortality rates. What does that mean? Uh, mortality. Uh, Everyone. Death. Death. Death rates. Yeah. Death, death. death rates. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's that's okay for everyone. It means death rates. Um, okay, Tarek. Very good. Uh, do you have any questions for me? Thank you. Okay. Good job. Um, okay, Trang, uh, can you continue? We're here yes. at then. Then there are the inventions that are the reason of someone asking, hmm, I wonder if that would be a good idea from a onesie that lets your baby mop your floors to a makeshift spawn for Rocking out in the shower. These are the inventions that are more noteworthy for the fact that anyone thought of them in the first place than for what they actually accomplish. Um, the wire rack is a great accessory for a night on the town party, not quite. Lively enough, slick a discreet drink from the brass two pouches, which can hold approximately one wine bot bottles worth of your favorite refreshing beverage. Good. Okay, I'll stop you there. And this is the wine rack. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, okay, so. 
have some words for you here. Can you read the first one for me? Event. Um, do you, I just put them in the chat box. Yes. Result. Good. Result. Result. Think of instead of re, it's like re, result, result. Result. Good. Perfect. And the next one? Mop. In this case, O sounds like A. Ah, mop. 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 Good. Very good. And the next one? Spawn. Sponge. A spawn. A sponge is um sponge. Like this. Sponge. Sponge. Good. That was perfect. So it's a j it sounds like a J at the end. Sponge. But kind of like this. Yes. Sponge. sponge. Good. And the next one? Sneak. Sneak. It's an E sound. Sneak. Snake. Sneak. So we have um this is snake. This is sneak. Snake. Good. Sneak. E E. Snake. Good. That was perfect. So it's an E E. Sneak. Sneak. Like in the word sneeze. It's the same sound. Sneeze. Yes. Very good. Okay. Um. The next one. Butchers. So this O U, it's making an ow sound. Pow, pouches. Pouches. Good. Very good. And there's one more. Approximately. 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 Good. So you're emphasizing uh, approximately. Like that. Approximately. 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 Perfect. Very good. So you emphasize that second syllable. Great job trying. Um, the -hmm. next thing that you can start to work on is trying to blend your words together a little um, so that it's not so choppy. Like yes. the end of one, the last letter of one word should join to the first letter of the next one. So for example, instead of saying right here, um, the fact that anyone, I would say the fact that anyone, that anyone, the fact that anyone. So everything sort of like bl starts to blend and together. Um, that's something you can start to, to work towards. It will make you sound a little bit more natural with your English. Okay? Yes. Very good. Great job, Trang. Um, Okay, and Victor, last but not least. <laughs> My turn, yes? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Of course, uh, it wouldn't uh, be fair if women were the only ones who could uh, discreetly bring the verges when going out uh, for the Thirsty against there's the flux to it. So there's a tie that you can drink. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> Good. Okay, how about the next one? And the wafer speaker system lasts, lets you make a statement uh, with your sounds uh, set up for uh, wiping. Um, 1,449. We only wish we know what that statement was. So we have some dogs. <laughs> Dog speaker. <laughs> kind of strange. Um, okay, how about one more? Uh, the beer, uh, beard bunny is the ski mask. At the Alternatives that only an HC fan uh, called love. Uh, not only is it less effective at keeping uh, your warm, it leaves a lot of your face uncovered. It also only looks good if you're uh, wearing it 
ironic, ironically. And here it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of silly. Okay. Um, oh, where did you start? Right here. Um, okay, I've got some words for you. Can you read the first one? Course. Just so course. this is that vowel I was explaining before, like in took, put, could. It's this uh vowel, could. Could. Good. Very good. Oh, same yeah. vowel in good. <laughs> okay. Uh. Um, the next word? Uh, discreetly, yes? Discreetly. Uh, discreetly. Yeah. Um, discreetly. You just have to take a look at where the R falls in the word, right? Discre discreetly. Discreetly. Good. The next one? Um, I'll give you a clue. It's short for gentleman. Uh, gents. 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 Yeah. Ah. Like gentlemen, it's yes. pronounced like a J. Gen. Yes. Gents. Oh, yes. Oh. Um, and the next one? Um, uh, statement. Okay, that was fine. How about the next word? Wish. Just watch your short I. We, wish. Wish. Not wish. 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 Okay. And the next word? Now. New. New. You have no and new. New. Good. And mm. the next one? Beanie. A uh, beanie. Beanie. Yeah, it uh. sounds like the word be beanie. It's just an another type of hat. But a beanie. Um, and one more. Oh, a beanie. A beanie. Yeah, I'll show you. Like this. Kind of hat. Yeah. It's this kind of hat. It's like kind <laughs> of a, a floppy winter hat. Call it a beanie. Okay. Or in Canada, we call it a toque. <laughs> a toque. It's in ah, yeah. Only in Canada. <laughs> um, and the last one is ironically. Ironically. Yeah, you have this Ali at the end, but it's pronounced just like Li, ironically. Ironically. Yeah, very good, Victor. Great pronunciation. You actually did a lot of reading and just a few words, so not bad at all. Very good. Um, okay, uh, before, before we go, any questions for me? No. Okay. Um, in, your, in your document, the, the original one, um, on the very first page, you have some some vocabulary review, and on the following pages, um, there's some some other exercises that you can do, um, and the answers are at the end. So if you're looking for homework, which I know you are, <laughs> then, <laughs> then there you go. <laughs> okay. Um, the next class we're Excellent. playing. Excellent homework. Yeah, <laughs> we're playing um, taboo, and then. We are doing some writing, um, and I have lots of classes today, so maybe I'll see you later on. Uh, Summing, it's pronounced known. No, known. Known. You said known. Known. Yeah, it's just like the word no, but with an N at the end. Known. 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 Oh, no. Yeah. Thank um, you so much. You're welcome. Okay, thanks for coming, guys. Um, maybe I'll see you soon. A little in a little bit. Okay. Bye, Bye. 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 Thank you.